In this lesson on circle geometry, we are going to have a look at theorem 5 and 6. Before we get started on the theorems, I'm going to remind you of a few important definitions. The first one is opposite angles. In this quadrilateral, A and C are opposite angles. They do not have a side in common. If we now compare that to angle A and angle D, they are adjacent angles because they have a side in common. Of course, then if we look at D and B, they are also opposite angles. The next important definition is a cyclic quadrilateral. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral with all four its angles on the circumference of a circle. And then lastly, supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. Let's have a look at theorem 5. Theorem 5 says the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. And if we now go and have a look at our sketch, we have a cyclic quadrilateral because all four of the angles are on the circumference of the circle. And this theorem then says that the two opposite angles in that quadrilateral will be supplementary, so they will add up to 180 degrees. If we now have a look at our example, we can see that A and C1 are opposite interior angles and they add up to 180 degrees. And even if I move angle A around, as long as it stays on the circumference, those two angles will stay the same. If I move one of the other angles, those two angles will now change, but they will still add up to 180 degrees. If I now go and have a look at my other two opposite angles inside that quadrilateral, they will also add up to 180 degrees. And then I can also find theorem 6 in here. If I have a look at my exterior angle, C2, I can see that it's the same size as angle A, which is the opposite interior angle. The reason for that, angle C1 and C2 form a straight line and will then add up to 180. But C1 and A also add up to 180, which means that C2 and A will always be the same size. So theorem 6, the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle. And the reason for my two theorems, theorem 5, opposite interior angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, and theorem 6, exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. Let's have a look at how we will use these theorems. Example 1. Determine the size of A and B. Now angle A will be the same size as angle TRS, which means it will be 112 degrees. And the reason for that, angle TRS is the exterior angle and angle P the opposite interior angle. So I can write down that angle A will be the same as angle TRS, and that means 112 degrees. My reason for that, exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. And then if I have a look at angle B, angle B and angle T are opposite interior angles, which means they will add up to 180 degrees. So angle B plus angle T will be 180 degrees, my reason opposite interior angles of a cyclic quad, which means that angle B will be 180 degrees minus 92, and then B will be 88 degrees. Example 2. Determine the size of X, Y, and Z. If you have a look at our picture, you will see that we have a cyclic quadrilateral because A, B, C, and D are all on the circumference of the circle. That means that angle B and angle D are opposite interior angles and should add up to 180 degrees. So angle X plus angle D will be 180 degrees. My reason for that, opposite 
interior angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So I know then that x will be 180 degrees minus d, which is 50 degrees, and that means that x is 130 degrees. If I now have a look at angle y, I can see that angle y is formed or subtended from AD, which is the diameter of the circle, and because C is on the circumference of the circle, it will then be 90 degrees. So angle Y will be 90 degrees, and my reason for that, angle in a semicircle. And then lastly, to calculate angle Z, I will still look at that same triangle ADC and calculate Z with interior angles of a triangle. So angle Z plus angle C plus angle D have to add up to 180 degrees. My reason, interior angles of a triangle. And therefore Z will be 180 degrees minus the other two angles, which will be the 50 and the 90 degrees. And that means that Z is 40 degrees.